first we learned print, and then we learned input. And then I kept saying, these are functions, but like, what's a function? Well, a function is a process that takes some input, does some procedure, and then returns some output. When we use a function, we don't always know how it works. We just know that if we give the right input, we'll get the expected output. And that's kind of the magic of functions. We don't really need to know the inner details. We just need to know that we'll get what we want from it. For instance, I have no idea how the print function works, but I know that if I put in my input, I'll have whatever I put in printed on my console, which is exactly what I want the print function to do. The print function actually takes between zero and an infinite number of inputs. If there's zero inputs, print will just print a new line. If there's one input, it'll print whatever is on that line plus a new line symbol. So if you write hello, it'll print hello and it'll move the cursor to the next line. Or you can have multiple inputs and write hello, comma, and then Lenny and it will print hello space Lenny and then the new line. So it can take many inputs, but if you notice, it doesn't have any output. Sure, it displays it on the screen, but it doesn't return a value. And you might be wondering, what does it mean to return a value? Well, we learned that with the input function. Remember that we write input quotes your name, and then that line of code is replaced by the result. That's what happens when you return a value from a function. It replaces the call to the function with the result, and then you can save that in a variable. So this shows that a function doesn't have to take an input, and it doesn't have to return anything, and it doesn't really have to do much in its body. But those are all three attributes of a function that they can do depending on the specific function you want your function to have. Now, there's actually a lot of other functions built into Python, like the abs function, for example. That's the absolute value function. So if you write abs of negative one, you'll get one, it returns one. Or if you write abs of one, it'll return one. I want you to think about how you would write some code that will return the absolute value of a number. You know all the skills by now, so try it out. 